Welcome back, it's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one-page layout using the brand new farmhouse collection from uh, Doodlebug. I did look and it is now in store at a cherry on top. So definitely get your hands on that. Um, I am not gonna lie, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I went into She Loves Color frustrated with border punches. Um, I've been scrapbooking for 10 years and knew I probably wasn't using the border punches correctly. And so I sucked it up and I asked my new friend Caitlin at my table <laughs> how to use a border punch properly. How to align it so I could just go right across. Um, and so yeah, it took me 10 years to figure out how to use a border punch. So I told her I was going to go home and do a layout using border punches and dedicate it to her. So this one goes out to you, Caitlin. Uh, thank you for teaching me. Um, I did definitely suck it up and yeah, it was kind of embarrassing to ask for help. But if you need help, definitely ask your scrappy friends. They will help you. So I went ahead and I think they are seven inches long and one inch wide. I cut a bunch of them using the border punch with the triangle kind of, or the, they're not scallops. They're, um, I don't know how, what you would call this border punch. Um, but then what I'm going to do is I thought I should start at the top, but then I realized that was wrong. I needed to start at the bottom because I'm going to overlap them going all the way up the page. So I kind of show you how I'm doing it. I don't make you watch the entire thing, um, especially cutting. So this one did take quite a while. Um, obviously, I did a lot of it off camera, cut out a lot of it for you guys because it was tedious, monotonous, um, but absolutely love the design. So I just alternated the colors um, and again, did it all the way up the page here and then decided that I needed a barrier um, between the white and the all of the pattern. So I cut just a thin strip of this orange cardstock and lined it up. Um, a couple of them weren't exactly seven either. So that kind of just covered up any of the imperfections on the outside edges. And so I added that to each of the sides. I am just going to be scrapbooking one photo. I meant to print it out uh, five by seven and um, yeah, didn't have my settings set properly. So it is a five by seven piece of paper. My photo still printed four by six. So it is what it is. I made it work. I would have loved a five by seven, just a little bit bigger. Um, but this actually was just from the end of last month, my mom's birthday. We went out to dinner and I took this picture of her and my aunt and I thought it was just the perfect picture. And yeah, I decided that it was the perfect picture too for all of these border strips. Um, this idea I had thanks to Caitlin. Um, so I am going to mat that on kind of this pinkish coral paper. It matched pretty well with uh, one of the papers in the collection. And then pop it up on some foam tape to give the layout a little bit of dimension. I kind of played around. I knew I wanted the photo on the bottom. Um, so I kind of played around with the placement. Should I put it on the right hand side or the left hand side? Kind of again playing around with the embellishments too. Should I journal? What should I add? Then I remembered I have one of the doodle pops from the collection and it's a shaker one and it says thankful for you. And of course I am obviously thankful for both of them but it was my mom's birthday so I kind of decided to add the shaker pocket to the side that she was on. So in doing so that meant I needed to kind of move the photo over to the left hand side of the page. This shaker pumpkin is just adorable. Yes, they are a lot of money to spend on one item, but I think they just add so much to a layout um, and just loved how it matched this collection um, so well. Obviously, it's part of the collection, but it's just so pretty. So I did splurge on this one and then another one from this collection. If you didn't catch my haul videos from the She Loves Color weekend. There's two different ones. Um, 
it was definitely a Doodle Pop and Bella Pop uh, themed shopping trip. I definitely stocked up on those. So now that I kind of have the idea of the photo placement, I knew then that I wanted to create a cluster to the top right to kind of even it out a little bit. Um, space, you know, space it out. So kind of playing around with what I wanted the main element to be. Um, I did actually win the paper collection. Um, and then obviously I needed things to go with it. So I went to the on-site store and bought, um, two of the ephemera packs to go with it along with the two, uh, doodle pops. So I did have a set of flares from Scrap and Happy Studio that I had set aside. I used one on another layout I did earlier this month using this collection and it just was the kind of perfect color scheme. So I wanted to kind of use those up if I could. So I did sneak one in under the shaker pocket or the shaker pop, I guess we'll call it. Um, I found the happy birthday banner and I thought that was perfect. It kind of helps journal or explain the picture a little bit more without actually adding journaling. So I added that pretty floral heart to the top left of that photo um, and then added the happy birthday over there. Uh, decided to use that stamp looking flare, not flare, embellishment at the top and then wanted to obviously add some of the beautiful floral clusters underneath of that as well. Um, Definitely not the color scheme I usually go towards for a fall layout, but winning it just, oh, I don't know, it just opened my eyes and I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. Like I don't normally go for this, but this is actually very beautiful. The colors are so different than what I'm used to. I love the floral clusters. Um, so I'm actually really happy and I will definitely be checking out uh, Doodlebug more in the future because... Again, I'm kind of loving this layout. I have a third layout, I believe, that you will see at the towards the end of the month using this collection as well. I did three one-page layouts because I loved it so much. I just wasn't ready to put it away without using it at all. So I did find another flare from a different package from Scrap and Happy Studio. It says hello there. So I added that to the top cluster. There were a couple of kind of epoxy hearts in the package uh, with the um, shaker pop. That's what we're going to call it because I don't know what it is. Um, so I did add one to each of the clusters and then just finishing off the little clusters with more... Um, embellishments, more flowers. They're just beautiful. So I did add one underneath happy birthday and then added one on the white paper underneath that floral heart and then moved the epoxy heart back down to fill that in. Again, just love how this one turned out. I think that photo too should be a, um, advertisement for the restaurant we went to. I thought it turned out so nice. Um, so I don't know, just loving everything about this layout. So a couple other embellishments I added to that bottom cluster. I will have this collection linked down below for you for sure because I think it's gorgeous. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and get those border punches out and play with them. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.